Hello everybody, this is Locke Minecraft, and today I'm going to be going over the basics of world scripts. I recommend that you go watch my tutorial on task scripts first. So, what you're going to need to do is understand some basics about world scripts. Basically, what a world script is, is a set of commands that run when an event happens. So, let's create a script for it. First, world, colon, type, world script, and now here's where it differs from the task script. Instead of script colon, you're going to add events colon. World scripts can have multiple events. This one is just going to have one for now. We're going to do the on player breaks block event. So as we can see, we've got our events tag. We've got our specific event. Now it's time to add commands. So add a hyphen after this, and we're going to type narrate. You broke, and then we can somehow we need to tell the player what they broke so if we go into the event on irc and type event on player breaks block we can see that there is a lot of info here that the bot tells us so exclamation point event and then an event the bot will give you all the info about it triggered this tells you when the event is triggered it's triggered when a player breaks a block context this is all the information the event has for you about what happened so it'll tell you the location it happened at, the material that was broken, the cuboids you're in, how much XP will be dropped, and you can ignore this determined stuff for now. So context.location will return a location, and material will return a material. So we need material. So you broke context.material. So there's one more issue. Context.material returns a dematerial. If you don't know what this is, basically, Denizen formats things differently than people. So a D material is, is M at and then a name. So this is a D material, M at stone. And that's not normally how a person would say it. So if you want to remove the M at that's part of a D material, you just add dot name. So you broke context.material.name. Basically, it finds that context.material is whatever the event says. And then it goes, oh, we want the name of that material, and replaces it with that. That's how Denizen fills tags, sequentially. So if we save this, hop into our console, type Denizen reload scripts, enter, open up Minecraft, break a block, you broke stone. Perfect. Now let's try and add a little more information to the event. So you broke this material. Say we want a location for that. So we could add you broke context.material.name with, and then if we go over here, and I'm sorry, not with at, and then we can do the context.location tag. Context.location returns the delocation the block was broken at. So delocations are a little bit like dematerials. They have the same formatting. So a delocation is going to look a bit like this. So it's going to have an L at in front of it, and then X comma Y comma Z comma world. So that's a delocation. So if we don't want the L at in front of it, what we're going to need to do is, all right, so if we want to remove that L at, we need to do context.location.formatted. What this will do is replace the current location with the formatted version that's easy for players to read. So we're going to save this, reload our scripts, open up Minecraft, and break a block. Now we're going to see you broke stone at x 9.0, y 73.0, z 44.0, and in the world training one. So that's another nice example of tags. Now, say we wanted to do our own formatting for this, we could do something like this. We could say at x, say we want to put the x coordinate here, we would do context.location.x. If you add dot x to any delocation, it'll return only the x coordinate. Now, nor what this will return is 7.0. Say we don't want the point zero, we can also add a tag like dot as int. That will return it as an integer. Integers don't have decimals. So if we go over here and do tag dot x, we can see that oh, location dot x that it returns a x coordinate of the location. And if we do tag dot as int, it returns the element as a number without a decimal. All right, so now we've got our own 
formatting for the x, we can just copy this and replace x with y, and then x with z. So now if we save this, reload our script, break another block, we can see that we've got our own formatting, x8, y72, z43. Now this is a completely working script, and this is all, this is just the basic of world scripts, and you can stop watching here. However, if you want to get more into Denizen, you should continue on. Alright, so the define command is very useful. It allows you to store a value within a tag. So if we define location as context.location, we are creating a definition object, location, with the value of context.location, which is a flag that Denizen will fill. Now, if we want to call the location object, we can do this. Narrate, and then we'll put percentage sign, location, percentage sign. Now that will plainly call context.location, except it's being stored, so you're calling the definition object. There are two ways of calling definitions. This is the first one, and this is the second one. You can do it as a normal tag as well, instead of that funny location or definition notation. You can also do a normal tag with brackets inside of it, and then put the definition's name. So these two will return the same thing. So I'm going to save, reload, break a block, and as we can see, these two tags here, lat, lat, both return the same thing, even though they have different formatting. Now, here's the real difference. The one with the less than and the greater than signs is better when you need to add more meta tags to the end. But what that means is things like .x, .asin, those are meta tags that allow you to modify this tag. This tag you cannot add meta tags onto, like .z, because the tag ends here. That's it. So you can all. So here's how that works. You can add .z here before, after the brackets, before the end of the tag, and you can't do it here. So I'm going to save. I'm going to go into Minecraft. I'm going to reload and break a block. And as we can see, this one is returning my x chord and the other one is or z chord and the other one's just doing the same thing it was before so that's a bit of an intro to definitions which we're going to be using a bit later so this is the basics of world scripts world scripts are a list of commands that run when an event in the world happens that carry over certain context values that you can use in your script thank you for watching bye